I'm here at the Des Cole All Tech Symposium, and we were having a discussion in one of the forums about uh, people's decisions about buying power. And the one of the questions that I've always had is that you have people that make their decisions based on their economic situations, and so a lot of the regulations and rules that are put into place. Uh, oftentimes, whether it's animal welfare driven or antibiotic therapy driven, are all based on whether or not those people can afford to spend more money on those products, whether it's eggs or meat. And we've in the past found that our concern is that around the world, even within the United States, but also around the world, there are people that don't have the opportunity to make a decision to pay 30 cents or 40 cents or some, some number above that for their food products. And so what you end up with, in, in my mind, is uh, a, a, several, or a small group of people that are concerned about one little item, um, whether, again, whether it's welfare or antibiotics uh, usage, will control the price for people that don't have the option to spend more money. And again, we, my concern in that situation is that you end up in a spot where those people then are put out of the market, can't feed their families, have to use less of that food product because the cost has, has, been, uh, has been raised. If the people that decide that they want those issues dealt with uh, want to pay more, uh, that's fine. What they need to be careful of is that things are not put in place that raise the cost of the entire production system uh, so that other people aren't allowed to have a cheaper source of uh, nutritious food for their families.